Hello everyone. Okay, now that you have um, taken notes on how to look for subject verb agreement, you remember you're finding the subject, you're seeing if the subject is singular or plural, and if so, that, that tells us what the verb is going to end with. Let's actually put it into practice. So your assignment for after the video is for subject verb agreement. Uh, part A. There is a Part B. I only want you to focus on Part A. That's the first page for now. So, remember up here it's telling you all the different things. It's just a reminder. It's always good to look through that as you're working. Remember, a verb should agree in number with its subject. Singular subject takes singular verbs. Remember, those are the verbs that end in S. And plural subjects take plural verbs. Those are the verbs that have a plain ending. Okay? So don't be confused by plural, like plural verbs don't end in S. Plural subjects end in S. And then they give you a couple of examples. Let's talk about our work today. In each of the following sentences, underline the verb or helping verb in parentheses that agrees with its subject. So, number example number one says Mr. Frank has been studying Mexican culture. That happens because Mr. Frank is the subject, and he is singular. He's one. So therefore, you're going to have the verb that ends in S. Let's look at number one. I'm going to do a few of these with you as an example, and then you're going to complete the rest on your own. Number one, Cinco de Mayo is or are an important ho Mexican holiday. So if I think about what the subject is, remember the subject is usually to the left of the verb, Cinco de Mayo, what is it? It's a holiday. Is it singular or plural? That's a singular subject. So my verb is going to end in S. Number two, we celebrate or celebrate the Mexican victory at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862. Well, my subject is we. I know that that's more than one person, so that's a plural subject. So if it's plural, it's going to have a plain ending. No S. Okay. Number three, some people watches or watch these celebrations in Los Angeles, California. Some people, that's more than one, so that's a plural subject. So I'm going to take the plain ending verb. Number four, others sees or see them in San Antonio, Texas. Others. That's more than one. That's plural. That's a plural subject. So I'm going to take the plain ending verb. Number five, the, celebration, the celebrations includes or include parades and dancing. Well, what am I talking about? I'm talking about celebrations. That's my subject. It is plural. So it gets the plain ending verb. So as you can see, as long as you're following that map, as long as you're thinking through it, it's going to be really easy. This worksheet, the subjects and the verbs are really close together. So always think about who or what is completing the, su completing the verb. That's the subject. And it's usually to the left before the verb. Okay. If you have any questions, be sure to raise your hand so that your teacher can, so that I can come around and um, help you out. All right. Good luck. Finish the rest of this page on your own. And when you're finished, raise your hand so I can come and check over it.